What are some must read books for investors uh, that you lean into to really help you uh, tighten the screws in your, in your trading and, and really kind of uh, strengthen the foundation of what you do? Yeah, absolutely. So my number one favorite book, I think everyone, it's the number one book I tell every intern, mentor I ever talked to, go read this book. It should be the first book you read if you're walking into the financial services industry, uh, which is Thinking Fast and Slow by Danny Kahneman and Amos Tversky. Um, that book explains everything you see on your screen from a behavioral standpoint, both to the mean side, to the, you know, to the institutional finance side, the CYA side of it all. Like there's so much in that book that once you learn, you can't unlearn from a human behavioral standpoint in terms of how human beings interact with the economy and asset markets. So that's that to me is number one. In fact, I highly recommend you read that every few years. I've read it three times already. Um, number two would be kind of the misbehavior of markets. Uh, ben Y. Mandelbrot, uh, Godfather of Fractal Math, um, sort of really kind of gives you kind of an eye-opening kind of introduction to sort of the relationship between price and volatility and asset markets and, and ultimately how to sort of weaponize volatility to actually, you know, kind of predict price and and um and to, and to, 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 to kind of fold that into your risk management overlay. So that that's a super important book as well, because I think a lot of what we do from a quantitative signaling perspective really kind of is born out of a lot of those learnings. And it's not just us. I think a lot of investors have found a lot of value in in, in Mendel's Brot's work. And then lastly, as someone I, I strive a lot of uh, kind of um, you know kind of value and thought leadership too is Ray Daly over at Bridgewater. Um, you say what you want about him at this point, but I, I don't think anybody gets anything about his ability to teach and, and, and educate us on some of these you know core first principles type things that really drive the economy and asset markets in the long term debt cycle, changing world order. But you know my kind of introduction at uh, Dalio came all the way back in. You know, 2009, 2010. Um, you know, I think I started in the business back in 09. Um, which is kind of getting my hands on their their white paper for for the all weather framework and understanding, hey, the power of regime segmentation uh, from an asset allocation and portfolio construction perspective. So, you know, kind of reading everything Ray Dalio's written since um, has really been uh, beneficial for my career and beneficial for our clients.